lady has two ovaries and she has around 10-12 antral follicles. These are small follicles at the start of her menstrual cycle. Only about one of these grows up. Now if somebody is not getting pregnant, what we do is we give her medications, the fertility medications by which more than one follicles grow up. Sometimes two, sometimes three and sometimes even more. The idea of growing up two or three follicles is that the chances of pregnancy are increased because any one of these follicles can release a healthy egg that can be picked up by the tube and a fertilization can take place. At the same time, we have to remember more the number of follicles, higher is the chance of multiple pregnancy. In today's age, we want to avoid multiple pregnancy at any cost because that might lead to preterm deliveries and complications for your child. So the best option would be to go for two or three follicles at the most that gives you a very good chance of pregnancy and does not have a very high risk of multiple pregnancies. If you have more than three follicles, it's better not to do anything in that cycle. If you have less than two follicles, maybe the chances are not that good. See, it's very difficult to talk about success rates for any procedure in abstract terms. You have to know the lady's age, how long have you been trying, what is the reason why we are doing an IUI. As a ballpark, I can tell you that it's anywhere between 10 to 15 percent per attempt if you are giving medication to help them to get pregnant. Uh, but this is per attempt. So with every subsequent attempt, the chances actually increase till about three or four attempts. After that, the chances don't really increase. Uh, per reason wise or per reason of duration of infertility wise, I would say IUI works best if the duration of infertility is not very high, it's less than 3 years or 4 years and the, re the lady is reasonably young, maybe less than 34 years old. Uh, if it's polycystic ovarian syndrome or she's not ovulating, her chances of success are pretty high, 20-25%. If it's insemination with donor sperms, the chances are very high, 20-25%. But if it's because of unexplained infertility or endometriosis or ma male factor, poor quality sperms, then the success is not really very good. It's around 5-7% to 7 only. <laughs>